If your mouse feels delayed, your keyboard input seems slow, or your controller feels inconsistent even when your game is running at high FPS, then you're likely fighting a hidden enemy, USB input latency. This problem can make you lose crucial gunfights and feel disconnected from the game. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to reduce your USB port input delay on Windows, step by step. First, and most importantly, we're going to stop Windows from putting your USB ports to sleep to save a tiny amount of power. This is one of the biggest causes of input lag spikes. To do this, right-click on your Start Menu button and click on Device Manager from the list. Once Device Manager opens, scroll down the list until you find Universal Serial Bus Controllers and click the little arrow next to it to expand it. Now, you're going to go through every single item in this list that says USB Root Hub or Generic USB Hub. Double-click the first one, go to the Power Management tab in the new window, and uncheck the box that says, Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click OK, and then repeat this exact process for every other USB root hub and generic USB hub in the list. This is a critical first step. Next, we need to disable a system-wide setting called USB Selective Suspend. This feature allows Windows to shut down individual USB ports it thinks are idle. But for gaming, this can introduce huge input delay when the port has to wake back up. To turn it off, press the Windows key and the R key at the same time to open the Run box. In the box, type powercfg.cpl and press Enter. This will open the Power Options window. Next to your currently selected power plan, click on Change Plan Settings. Then, click on Change Advanced Power Settings. In the new window, scroll down until you find USB Settings. Expand it and then expand USB Selective Suspend setting. You need to set both on battery and plugged in to disabled. When you're done, click apply, then click OK. Now, let's make sure your system's power plan isn't secretly holding your performance back. Go back to the main power options window we were just in. For maximum performance and the lowest latency, you should always be on the high performance or ultimate performance power plan. If you only see balanced, select that, but avoid power saver at all costs, as it will severely limit your hardware. Once your plan is selected, click Change Plan Settings and go back into Change Advanced Power Settings. This time, scroll down and find PCI Express. Expand it and then expand Link State Power Management. Make sure this is set to off for both on battery and plugged in. This prevents your system from throttling the data lanes that your USB controllers rely on. All right, it's time for some advanced tweaks in the Windows Registry Editor. A quick but very important warning. The Registry Editor is a powerful tool. Making incorrect changes can cause system instability. Please follow my instructions carefully. Before we start, let's create a safety net. Click the Start menu and type Create a Restore Point. Click on the result that appears. In the System Properties window, under the System Protection tab, click the Create button. Name it something like Before Input Lag Fixes and click Create. If anything goes wrong, you can always revert your system to this point. With our restore point ready, let's open the registry editor. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog. Type regedit and press Enter. Click Yes on the security prompt. In the registry editor, at the very top, you'll see an address bar. Copy and paste this exact path into it, and you can copy it from video description. Once you're there, on the right side of the window, look for an entry named System Responsiveness. By default, its value is often 14. This setting controls how much CPU priority Windows reserves for background tasks. For gaming, we want to give our active game as much power as possible. Double-click on System Privateness, make sure Hexadecimal is selected, and change the value data to zero. Click OK. This tells Windows to prioritize your foreground application, which is typically your game, significantly reducing potential micro stutters and input delays. While we're in the registry editor, let's make one more important tweak that can impact your online game latency. In that same folder we just navigated to, look for an entry named Network Throttling Index. This registry key can sometimes cause Windows to artificially limit network throughput, which can add latency in fast-paced online games. We want to effectively disable this throttling. Double-click on Network Throttling Index. Again, make sure hexadecimal is selected and change the value data to 
F F F F F F F F. That's eight Fs. Click OK. This ensures your network connection isn't being artificially bottlenecked by Windows, giving you the best possible ping and responsiveness in online titles. Next, we're going to target the specific devices you use for gaming. Go back to Device Manager. This time, scroll up and expand the Human Interface Devices section. You need to look for any entry that corresponds to your gear, like HID compliant mouse, HID compliant keyboard, or HID compliant game controller. Just like we did with the USB hubs, double click each of these one by one, go to their power management tab, and uncheck the box that says, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. This ensures your mouse, keyboard, and controller are always fully powered and ready to send an input with zero delay. Finally, we're going to disable a Windows feature called Fast Startup. While it sounds good, it can cause major problems with USB devices by not letting them properly shut down and reinitialize when you reboot your PC. This can cause lingering driver issues and input lag. To disable it, open your control panel. Go to Power Options, and on the left-hand side, click Choose what the power buttons do. At the top, you'll need to click the text that says Change settings that are currently unavailable. Now, simply uncheck the box for Turn on Fast Startup Recommended and click Save Changes. From now on, your PC will perform a clean shutdown every time, ensuring your USB devices start fresh. And that's it. After you've followed all these comprehensive steps, give your PC a full restart for everything to take effect. When you get back into your favorite game, you should immediately feel the difference. Your mouse movements will feel more connected and one-to-one, -one, your keyboard actions will feel instant, and your aim will feel significantly more stable and responsive. These tweaks don't increase your FPS, but they reduce that critical time between your action and the reaction on screen, which is what gives you a real competitive edge. If this guide helped you tighten up your gameplay, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more no-nonsense optimization guides. Drop a comment below and let me know what game you're playing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.